What is up, fellow gearheads? Welcome back to the HQ. Today, we are doing something super nice for the Silver Slug. I'm trying to get this thing looking good again as I've kind of let it go in a few aspects. The first thing I did to jump right in, if you guys are observant, you would have noticed that um, I had the Mopar M over here and I just had the Mopar over here because I messed up the vinyl when I put it on originally. And you'll notice that I put the M on, so this thing is looking symmetrical again. Now, before I started my channel, and I had the truck obviously, I had a flag mount on it, which is down here. You'll see I have these brackets on here that hold a PVC pipe, which is in the truck actually. This right here, those clamps hold this onto the side of the bed, and then basically you can stick a pole down in it with the American flag on it. And so I flew the American flag from the truck because that's just a fun truck thing to do. <clears throat> now, one day I had that flag on and it was really windy outside. And a big old gust of wind came by and bent my flagpole. It was actually like a three piece pole and it wasn't very sturdy. And yeah, the whole thing bent. The clamps, as you can see here, are bent and everything just got screwed up. And I didn't fix it for a really long time. Like I said, I had that flag on there before I even started the channel. I uploaded my first video in November. It's currently almost March. So it's a couple days to March. I don't know the exact day. I can never remember the date. So we're gonna fix that today. We're gonna get this truck looking like it did before I broke it. <laughs> I went to Lowe's and I picked up a piece of three quarter inch electrical conduit. And what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna spray paint this black. I'm not, you know, priming it or doing any kind of paint prep. I don't really need it to look good. It's just a pole to put a flag on, on my truck. So what we're gonna do right now, I'm gonna take this conduit, we're gonna paint it black. We're gonna try to get these clamps straightened back out on the truck so that everything will fit, you know, straight and square and it will look good again. And then we will fly the flag once more on the slug. Anyway, I'm gonna go get some cardboard spray paint this conduit and see if we can get all this done today. I doubt I'll be able to get it all done today because I kind of picked the worst time to do this. The sun is going down and it is a Wednesday night so I will be going to church in a few hours but I just want to get some stuff done man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and paint that up and then hopefully get these clamps straightened out. I want to get this flag back on before spring so I can have this thing flying when we go to car meets and stuff like that, which I'm really hoping to do a lot during the spring and summer this year, uh, especially with the channel now. Uh, last summer, I went to a couple car meets, didn't really do much, and it was super fun, but now that we have the channel, I wanna be hitting up a lot of car shows and a lot of car meets and stuff with the slug and with the future project, whenever, if ever, I find it. So, I'll check back with you guys in a minute. Theoretically, there'll be cardboard in here. I found some, though I don't think it's big enough. This is actually my cardboard, so I don't have to worry about stealing it from my parents. This was the box that my uh, tool cart came in. But I don't think it's big enough. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, that's not gonna work. More cardboard is required. Using my genius brain, I found out that uh, I can fix the problem. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the cardboard here and I'm gonna cut it like that and then put the two ends together lengthwise so it'll be long enough to fit the conduit on. sharpened my knife. Two hours later. Alright guys, so for best results, the can of spray paint was inside. It is room temperature right now. Definitely don't want to use cold spray paint. And the conduit I actually kept inside too. So it should be close to room temperature. It's been outside a little longer than the can, but hopefully it'll be pretty warm. Now, as far as the paint is concerned, it's just your basic can of Walmart spray paint. I chose gloss black. I was gonna go 
flat black, but I think the gloss black is gonna go better with the accents on my truck. As my truck does have black on it, as you know, the stripes, I think the gloss is gonna match that better, definitely better than this silver conduit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into putting the first coat of paint on it, hopefully before the sun goes down, because I basically procrastinate about everything. bit of a light first coat definitely when you're spray painting don't just cake that stuff on there put on lightly put on multiple coats it'll keep it from running and that kind of thing honestly I'm not doing a like a superb paint job here but I'm trying to make it you know not look like crap is what I'm trying to do so put it on light let it dry come back and put more on it obviously I'm gonna have to come back after it dries and roll it over and get the backside and then just see you know what happens from there Kind of have a feeling I'm not going to do that today though, considering the sun is literally right there. So we'll see what happens. But all right, so while the paint is drying, I'm going to go ahead and come over here and try to work on getting these clamps straightened back out. Obviously, I was able to get the uh, PVC pipe out of here, but uh, need to get these things straightened out again. If you're curious, if you are, <laughs> if you're curious about the setup, it's basically just these two clamps uh, that you know are squeezed together by this uh, bolt and nut that you know pull the clamp together. And then I drilled through the side of the bed here, and basically there's a bolt here and a nut on the the end of the bolt, you know, inside the bed here. Basically, the main problem is this bottom one is fine, but this top one is a little mangled. I'm not even sure how. I'm gonna get this thing straightened out. First things first though, I'm gonna take the bolt off of it, which is really hard when your fingers are numb. I'm gonna see if I can just work it by hand a little bit. And just straighten it back out just enough so that it'll hold the PVC pipe in there a little better let me grab the pipe all right so the bottom one is fine this top one is still bent a little bit if I put the nut the bolt in if I tighten the nut on maybe the uh, PVC pipe will kind of help shape the clamp back to the way it's supposed to be that's what I'm gonna try anyway because I really don't want to get a hammer over here and start beating on this clamp because that's just not gonna work but I gotta move the metal somehow <clears throat> oh, my toolkit, my sockets are everywhere. Alright, so this is my mobile kit. Where's my ratchet? I know this kit has a ratchet. What the heck? So I'm hoping here, let me show you guys. Uh, uh by tightening this hoping that it will the clamp will conform itself to the PVC again hopefully we'll see though so I think it did some good I don't think this clamp is perfect but 
like that. It's much better. Much, much better. I can't take that off with my finger. What the heck? <laughs> there we go guys we got this thing fastened back on it looks pretty sturdy to me i think we got it straightened out as you can see it conformed around the pvc pipe again let's go check on our pole Seems pretty dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it again. Welcome back, or should I should I say welcome back because the video never really stopped. Anyway, it is now Saturday. I can't remember what day I started this video, but it was a couple days ago. The pole has been completely painted. I'll show you guys that real quick. Here it is. As I said before, not a super fancy job. As you can see here, it ran a little bit, and it ran a little bit over the pole, but overall, it didn't have to be professional. Basically, I had a chrome silver pole. I wanted a black pole. Now I have a black pole. That's all that matters. Was it super high quality? But we have the desired outcome. The pole is black. So I got everything straightened out on the bedside to remount my flag now. So I'm gonna test fit this up. And then uh, we're gonna drill a hole in this for the cotter pin, which I will show you guys in a second. God, how light my tailgate is. Basically what we're gonna do here, we're gonna take the pole here, we're gonna take the pole here and put it down in here, like so, just like that. And then basically the flag is gonna be on here. But in order to do this, we need to drill through here. All right, everything is complete. I kind of skipped over drilling it. Really boring to watch, but we did indeed drill it. As you can see here, drilled a hole, a new hole through the PVC and the uh, uh, three quarter inch conduit. And then so we can affix this cotter pin in here so nothing comes flying out while I'm going down the road. But yeah, guys, it is done. The flag is mounted with the best reach I can get. She's on there. If you are interested, it is a three by five foot flag. Uh, yeah, it's almost, it's like a foot shorter total than my bed. But man, I bet this thing looks sick while I'm driving. I wish I could like see it, like be outside to see it while I'm driving. But yeah, I'm sure it looks great. Yeah, America. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, I am excited to get some photos of this thing, maybe get like a drive-by video with it flapping, that would be sick. For real, I'm so glad that I got the flag back on. The truck just looks so much different, like so much better. People notice it so much more. Like, I mean, as it is, 
I guess it's an eye catcher. I mean, if you're paying attention, you see, oh, hey, there's a Dakota with stripes, you know, either, you know, that's stupid, stripes don't add horsepower, or, you know, hey, that's kind of tasteful. Either way, I didn't do it. I don't hate it. I don't think that I would pay to do this if it was mine, but whatever, you know. I think having the flag just adds a little extra, like, ooh, he's nice, you know what I'm saying? Like, the truck looks good. Overall, I think this truck is really uh, shaping up. Yeah, hopefully we can keep getting her looking better. I am really wanting to take some good pictures with this thing. So adding the flag is a big step up. Anyway, I think that's gonna end it for now. Kind of a boring video, but I'm really hoping to get some better stuff on the way. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, leave a like down below. Is that how my outro goes? I can never figure out my outro. I got the intro down. You know, the, uh, what's up guys? No, I don't even, uh, I don't even have my intro down. It's what's up, Phil Gearheads. Welcome back to the HQ. My outro, this is so stupid. I'm such a horrible person on camera. Anyway, guys, if you like, I hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.